Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today I'm bringing you guys Let's Play Clash of Clans episode number five. All right, so since the last video, I built all 50 walls, which means we can make our first original base design at Town Hall 3. And even though we built everything, it's still going to be extremely tough to protect all of our resources and try to protect our defenses. In fact, it's really hard throughout the game to protect everything. But let's just go ahead and try it out, and let me show you guys what I came up with. So for my base, it's sort of shaped in an X, as you can see. I've got the mortar in the center because, as you guys know, it is the most powerful defense, at least for lower town hall levels. Um, so that'll definitely help me take care of those barbarians, archers, and goblins. Also in the same compartment, I have one of my gold storages and one of my elixir storages. Using the other walls, I protected another one of my gold storages and another one of my elixir storages. So both of my storages um, are really well protected in the center of my base. So since I used a lot of my walls to protect my resources, I had to get a little bit crafty with my defenses. So instead of using walls to protect my defenses, I actually used a sort of natural defense by putting my gold mines, my elixir pumps, my barracks, my builder sets, and I used those guys to cover up my defenses instead. So if people drop barbarians, if they drop archers, they're not going to have a straight shot to my defense. They're going to have to fight through some of the garbage buildings on the outside. And I feel like that'll really help out against certain people who attack me. So they're going to have to fight all the way through, take care of those mines, pumps, take care of the cannon, then try to break through the walls to get to my storages. So I'm hoping this will hold up at Town Hall 3, but we will just have to see what happens. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated with some defensive replays probably in the next episode. As far as my Town Hall goes, it is on the outside. Once again, we are not worried about trophies. If someone attacks my Town Hall and runs away, that is a victory for us. So... I will definitely keep you guys updated with the base, but it does look pretty good to me. I actually like the base design itself because it looks cool and uh, it's nice and symmetrical, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with it and I'll let you know if we make some changes. Alright, so in the first half of this episode, I'm going to be running through a lot of the single player levels and we're only going to be getting 2,000 gold and 2,000 elixir from each of these, but the reason I want to attack these is because later in the single player maps, you are going to get a crazy amount of resources. So again, only getting a couple thousand now, and I could attack some multiplayer bases and get maybe 5,000, 6,000 of each, but once I get to later points in the game, when I get to level 40 through level 50 of single player, I'm going to start getting 150,000 of each resource, 300,000 of each resource, and eventually at level 50, you end up getting 800,000 of each resource source which is one of the biggest raids you're ever going to have in clash of clans so it's important that i take care of these now um, plus i really like doing these this is actually how i started on youtube by doing these levels so let's go ahead and take them out and uh, see if we can have some fun doing it so for gold rush again only 2,000 of each but i'm going to start dropping some barbarians and archers and i wanted to be nifty and use a strategy where i use my barbarians as tanks and archers from the back but my barbarians actually were like running to the center and attacking some of those buildings on the bottom so none of them really attack the cannon itself, except for those two on the very top right now. Um, but at this point, I have 16 troops left in my army camp, and I don't really think I need to use those. So I'm just going to go ahead and save those and let my troops run around and finish off this base. So I'm probably going to run through maybe like four or five levels. Again, a lot of them are really, really easy in the beginning. You can probably just spam 60 barbarians over and over and get to like level 15 or level 20 or something like that. Um, but yeah, pretty simple, 100% and we got 2,000 of each resource. So right now, as far as what I'm saving up to do, there's a couple things I can do in my base. Uh, I'd like to do some upgrades. I probably wanna upgrade my walls a little bit before I upgrade town hall levels, but maybe I could do some more cannon upgrades and archer tower upgrades because I don't think my defenses are that well upgraded. So a little trick right here, you can see on this base, you can actually use this in multiplayer too. If someone has their mortar that's pretty close to the wall and they don't have any other um, defenses nearby, if you drop your, archer ta your archers really, really close to the wall, you can actually take it out. You have to be precise though. If you drop it like maybe a quarter of an inch away from it, it's actually going to blow them up. So drop it as close as you can to the wall and you can actually take it out without being shot at. All right, so after the mortar went down, that was pretty much the most difficult part. I'm just going to drop some barbarians to take care of those cannons on the side. And now that those guys are down, I can just go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the raid and we stole all the resources yet again. So another pretty simple one. Let's go ahead and check out what we use. We only used, it looks like, a little bit less than 30 troops, so not too bad. And let's finish it up with this final single player level and then we're going to start running into some multiplayer raids. So we got a nice boost, 3,000 of each. Again, still not killing it by any means, but I'm just going to drop some barbarians once again. All of the defenses are on the, are on the outside, um, and that makes for a really easy raid. So that's why I didn't put my defenses way far out there with my base, because someone could just drop all of their barbarians and take it out fairly easily. And now that those guys are done, they're going to run down these alleys. And you're going to see the way this base is laid up. Uh, as I fast forward, there's that little bomb line, and it actually took care of my barbarians on the bottom. 
but we're still good. A couple of them were actually smart enough to run through the wall. And wrapping it up for our final single player raid, we are going to get 3,000 of each uh, resource. And let's go ahead and head back to base, see if we can do a couple of upgrades. And then we're going to go ahead and head into some multiplayer battles. All right, looking where we're at right now, we have two builders available. I have one working on the gold storage, one on the elixir storage, getting both of those guys up to level four. And then as far as my ar archer tower goes, I actually already have that upgrading. So looking at what else we have, we have the two cannons right there. Those guys can probably be upgraded 45 minutes each. So we'll take care of those right now. And yeah, after that, we're probably going to have to go ahead and wait on a couple of the other upgrades because I don't have any builders available. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it for a second. And then as soon as we come back, we should have some guys to work with. All right, guys, two builders are available now. Our cannon finished up as well as our archer tower finished up to level two. And I actually started that upgrade to level three. So we do have a little bit to work with. And from here, we can actually probably start upgrading some walls today. Yeah, I can start one of my upgrades now. So this is what I like to do when I don't have a lot of builders available. If I only have one builder left, I'm actually just going to focus on keeping that builder open and must spend a ton of gold on upgrading my walls. So even though I could spend my elixir on upgrading another gold mine, I'm just going to keep my builder unused and I'm going to start attacking some bases and see if I can do some work on my walls today. So looking at this first base right here, this guy is probably a Town Hall 5, I think. Um, maybe a Town Hall 4, but I think that Town Hall looks like a 5. Anyways, let's go ahead and drop some Barbarians on top. They're going to start attacking those storages. I think most of it is in the mines and pumps, though. So after I drop a few Barbarians on the bottom, we should be able to get that Elixir fairly quickly. All right, so he did have a couple things in his clan castle, and that's sort of annoying on the top because his cannon and archer tower will be shooting at my troops. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop a couple more Barbarians, and I think we shouldn't have a problem up there. So you can see our gold storage filling up pretty quickly. We do get a lot more resources from multiplayer than from single player. And then after these final couple buildings go down, we are going to be good to go. And uh, we can actually probably just surrender from here. All right, so since I actually have a pretty good amount of barbarians left, I'm going to let those guys run through the base. So they're going to take care of that cannon in a second, as well as destroy that archer tower. And even though they're getting shot at relentlessly, looks like I have just enough to take care of that town hall and get us 47% on this base. And it looks like we're going to get that 50 and get two stars. So it's nice to take the trophies. Really don't need them too much, but I guess I should start gaining trophies since I am going to be upgrading my town hall pretty soon. In the end, we got 20,000 gold, even though we can only hold 14,000 and over 6,000 elixir. So let's go ahead and head back to base. We do have a couple of wall upgrades we can do. I don't want to spend all of my gold, though, because if I run out, then... Uh, yeah, if I spend too much, then I'm going to run out when I'm searching because it does cost 75 gold to search for each, each base. So let me go ahead and fast forward through these guys and start making our way around the base. I think at Town Hall 3, we can upgrade our walls to level 3, um, but those cost 5,000 each. And I don't know if I'm going to be uh, patient enough to do that. I'll probably just upgrade my Town Hall before I get all of those done. Okay, so looking at this base right here, 9,000 gold, 6,000 elixir. Let's go ahead and attack it and see how we can do. And if we can destroy some of these things on the outside, we can make our way to those gold mines. And that's where I think most of the gold is. So again, the elixir pumps looked full. This guy had tombstones outside of his base. Did not have a league emblem. So I know most of the resources are going to be in the mines and pumps. And let's see if we can go ahead and take those guys out. So first gold mine went down. Second one's going down right now. Only 782 gold left. So that might be in the gold storages or in the town hall. I'm not exactly sure yet. And let's go ahead and see what our guys do with the rest of the base. Okay, so it looks like that mortar went down. And I'm actually just going to spam the rest of my barbarians because uh, I don't really care. And I think this is actually going to be the last raid. So I thought I would just go all out. And we're just wrapping it up with a couple more swipes of this elixir storage. And then there's a couple more buildings down bottom. Okay, so it looks like we actually will get to this gold storage. And instead of dropping those barbarians on the far right, I guess I could have dropped them a little bit closer to that cannon. But even though my guys are taking some swipes of that gold storage, we're really not going to get anything because the remaining gold is actually hiding inside of the town hall. So I'm going to surrender from here. 8,500 gold, 5,800 elixir. Only lost seven trophies. And let's head back to base and finish up the upgrades for today. So we have 9,000 gold and looking at what we can do, we can actually do a couple of walls, but I do want to spend some of it um, on maybe upgrading one of my elixir pumps. So we're at 5,500 gold right now. And before I do anything, I want to make sure I don't run out. We're at 4,500 gold. And yeah, the elixir collectors cost 3,500 to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade one more wall, upgrade that elixir collector level five, and then that's going to wrap it up for the upgrades today. All right, guys, we're looking pretty good. I'll give you guys an update on the base design in the very next episode. Probably going to be moving up to Town Hall 4 in just a second because we've already built almost everything um, except for the, uh, what is it, the laboratory so we can upgrade our troops. So I'm going to work on our laboratory as soon as possible. Once we get that done, we can start powering our way to Town Hall 4. And then from there, we're going to get a lot more walls and we'll have a lot more choices about what we want to do with our base. 
other than that that is going to wrap it up for this let's play i hope you guys are enjoying it i'm going to promise you guys a new let's play tomorrow and if i don't post it i will do something drastic maybe do some crazy hundred dollar giveaway or something like that but yeah that's going to do it i'll see you guys later peace out